So let's get into the first topic that is what are inequalities. Let's take a few examples. Yes. Let us look at this particular example. Let us start with the first example. Okay. Now here we have an example which says Tarun's bag has less than 10 mangoes. Now suppose we use this, we put it in the form of a mathematical inequation. How can we do this? Yes. Now, which means Tarun's bag has less than 10 mangoes could mean it could have 1, it could have 2, 3, any of these up to 9, but definitely not 10. You cannot have 10. So this means we are going to write this particular inequation this way. X, which could be the number of mangoes, is less than 10. Hence, all these numbers satisfy this particular equation, inequation that Tarun's bag has less than 10 mangoes. Right. So, from this, let's take the next example. When I saw not less than 10 tigers. Now, what could this mean? Not less than, which means, in simple words, he, could, he has seen 10 he has not seen 9, he has 10, seen 10 or 11 or 12 or 13. That means, in simple words, it means he has seen a minimum of 10 tigers. So it could mean he has seen, let's take this case. So he has seen 10, he could have seen 11, 12, how many? Maybe, we don't know how many, but definitely not less than 10, which means that he has seen greater than 10 or even equal to 10. That means he has seen, the number of tigers that he has seen is greater than or equal to 10. So this is how we can introduce the concept of greater than or equal to 10. Right? Let's take the next example here. Dylan earns not more than rupees 1 lakh. Dylan is earning not more than rupees 1 lakh which means he could be earning 1 lakh or anything less than maybe 99,000 or anything but definitely not more than 1 lakh which means which can be translated this way suppose Dylan's earnings are y so we say y is either less than 1 lakh or he could be even earning 1 lakh so, we write this concept of this particular inequation this way. Y is less than or equal to 1 lakh. Let's take the next example. Simple examples. X is a whole number, not more than 5. It's a whole number, not more than 5. When we're talking about whole numbers, we're not talking about 0 0.2, 2, 3 or 4. So, we're dealing with numbers starting from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, which could mean that x is a whole number not more than 5 means it is a maximum of 5 and starting from 0 and it is a whole number. So, all these conditions have to be satisfied to get these numbers. So, what could these numbers be? They could be 0 or the number could be 1 or it could be 2 or it could be 3 or it could be 4 or it could be even 5. So, it could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, which means that the number is x is the number and it is either less than 5 or it is equal to 5. Which means it is a maximum of 5 is what we have in this. Right. So, hence, these simple examples also could make us understand. Let's take another question similar to this, but it is a real number. Here we talked about a whole number and here we are talking about a real number, which could mean decimals, fractions, square roots of uh, imperfect squares, all rational numbers, irrational numbers, all these numbers. So, x is a real number, not more than 5. It's the same example, but it is a real number. So what could this be? It could be even, it could be 0, it could be 0 0.1, it could even be minus 3, it could be minus 3.2, any such number which is less than 5. 
Hence, all these things are covered in this particular number 0, 0 0.1, minus 3, minus 3.2 and umpteen such numbers will fall in this. Even a number like say root 3 could fall in this particular range of numbers which means it is a real number not more than 5. Now we will be dealing more with these kind of cases wherein the numbers could be real numbers when we actually solve them in equations. So these simple examples could make us understand exactly what an inequation could be about. Then we move on to the next section. Let's take the simple inequation and let's try to solve it. An inequation, we'll take up more solutions, more detailed ways of solving it. But just to start to get a hang or to just to understand what an inequation could be like, let us see this particular example. You have x minus 4 greater than 5 which means we are finding out all those numbers which uh, from which if you subtract 4 you get a number greater than 5. So let's take a particular case wherein say x is 10. Let's substitute 10 instead of x and see whether it is satisfying this particular condition or no. So we put 10 minus 4 on the left hand side and now we don't know, we'll just check how it is as compared to 5. So we have 6 and we have 5. So we have 6 is greater than 5. So yes, this is a valid case. Hence, x is equal to 10 is a particular solution for this particular inequality. On contrary, let's take a number, say x is equal to 9 and check the same way. In the left hand side of the inequality, let us substitute 9 and we get 9 minus 4. Again, we are checking the relationship between the left hand side and the right hand side. So we put 5. So 9 minus 4, you have 5. And here you have 5 and both are equal. But we want that the difference should be greater than 5. So this is not a valid point. So x is equal to 9, this particular thing is definitely not a solution to this particular inequality. So this simple example makes us understand how we can judge what could be a solution of a particular inequation or no, whether something could be a solution to that inequation 